Hello everyone. Today I'm going to take you through to a demo of self service functionality of Spago BI. As a lot of you might already know, that Spago BI is a 100% open source business intelligence solution. It gives you the freedom to do and create your own dashboards and reports so that you can create further deep dive and do further analysis you, you need not to further depend on any technical help in terms of the self-service feature of Spago BI so let's let's go and create some dashboards that are very easy to use and can be created within minutes so for the purpose of this demo I'm going to take a sample data the sample data is is an XLS file which you can easily integrate in the Spago BI server and then further using the data set you can create your own dashboard okay so let's go and create the data set first on the left pen is as you can see this is the list of data set that I have and I'm going to create a new one I'll just name it as super store demo analysis I'll just copy paste the label in name and description field as well Now, the type of this data set is a file because I am going to use an existing Excel file to create this data set. You can create your own query or the other data sets you can create using uh, other options available over here. I'll choose file. I will select my data source. I'll click on load. And it looks like the file has been uploaded successfully now let's now let's go and preview the data has been uploaded correctly or not looks like the data has been fetched successfully i've got 200 rows let me just save it Operation succeeded, it says. Before moving further, I would like to know if my metadata has been defined correctly. I see by default everything, every all the fields have been tagged as attributes. I would like to change them accordingly as per their feet as per their dimensions. So as I as, as you can see, discount should be a measure, unit price is also a measure as well as you have sales as a measure profit as a measure and shipping cost as measure click on ok click on save yes I would like to recalculate the data set operation is succeeded now we are good to go and create our own dashboard for the purpose of creating this dashboard from scratch I would like to use uh, an existing engine that's provided by provided by Spec BI it is known as cockpit now this is what the cockpit looks like I will have to create and add widgets in this particular sheet so that I can view multiple views of my data as per my requirement. This is first of my widgets. I'll click on this edit button. It will take me to the data source that I need to use. Uh, I see there are a lot of data sources over here, but I need to select the one that is required. Select the one that I recently created. 
click on it now the first uh, first okay now you see um, we have this widget editor from where you can create your own visualizations below that you have fields that you can pull in into the visualizations and do the analysis first I would like to create a pie chart this pie chart will give me the distribution of will give me the distribution of products I have now the data set is basically of a retail store that is into selling office supplies uh, that are categorized in you know stationery or technology products okay so I would like to see the distribution of my products so product category is one of the attributes I have and I would like to see the distribution by sales okay I can go here and define the colors as well okay I have colors now we select it yeah, okay all right all right so I have the distribution of my product sale in a pie chart I can see you know how much they are contributing to my total business or sales let me add further views that would help me to analyze it better how they are performing again I click on the widget editor and I select that existing data source that I need to use I want this to be a bar chart a horizontal bar chart that will have my product subcategories so now earlier I had taken categories now I want to see within those categories how other subcategories are performing my measure is sales again okay I can select a color over here selected this color all right now I am able to see all the sub product categories I have within my catalog okay I'm just trying to rearrange it rearrange it so that I can view it better okay now I would like to see um, the sales of my, of my products by the customers I would like to see the list of the customers that have brought my product so I'll use a table because it will give me a list of all the customers that have bought the products or I would like to see the customer name the product category subcategory product name you see this is very easy and just drag and drop of different measures and attributes you need not to do any coding whatsoever okay now I select sales profit and discount as well click on confirm now I am able to see list of customers that have what these products within the subcategory range and within the product category range I just rearrange it so that we can do further analysis all right now I would like to see how my products are performing when I compare sales with profitability there might be few products that are good on sales however profitability is low so for that I would create a line chart
measures are sales and profit okay. click on show values legend click on confirm oh, now I can see my accept categories blue defines the sales and profitability is in green now I see you see there are a lot of subcategories and the size of this line chart does not permit me to populate all the fields all the subcategories so what I'm gonna do I will keep this as it is as of now because uh, the purpose of this particular line chart is to see you know how my products forming and what is the top line bottom line so now we have created this dashboard uh, let's see how we can use it okay so I have furniture of the supplies and technology as my product categories I want to know what is driving them where where does my profit for profitability lie so to under answer these questions I need to dig deep into the data and with this help of dashboard I will be able to figure out what my answers are okay so uh, let me choose office supplies as it contributes to around 23 percent of my business or to see the profitability of these products against the sales when I click on office supplies okay I see that all the other charts are automatically updated they are reflecting the relevant information so when I chose office supplies it gives me only those subcategories which belong to office supply product I see binders and binder accessories have the biggest sale what about their profitability um, they are quite not good in terms of profitability and click on let's say binders and binder accessories oh now I see that uh, my sales is at 10,000 however my profitability is very high how does that happen well let's go and see the different parameters and the details of the data itself I see that the data itself shows that one of the, data, the profitability is very high sales although it's very low so seems something wrong with the data itself but that's all right the purpose is to tell you how it works so if in order to clear the selections I just click on this button and ts everything let me take another example more relevant one okay let's see how the furniture is performing so within furniture I have tables of this furnishing chair and bookcases you see the profitability and sales chart is also reflecting the same looks like profitability is quite low in indeed negative for bookcases but the sales has been good what about tables oh table also has a huge gap in terms of profitability well office furnishing are doing good because one of the reason could be we are not selling more of them maybe if we are here to push office furnishing it might also help in increasing profit as well um, now you have chairs and chair mats even these have a long difference okay let me go and have a look at technology products
you, you see here copyright tax they have quite close margin in terms of profitability and sales let me go and see which data itself i'll see that i have sold around 3700 worth of product in copy and packs and i've got huge profitability maybe if i sell more of these products my bottom line is going to get stronger so this way as you can see it's very easy to use very easy to create within few minutes you can create your own dashboard interactive informative and very easy to use i hope you liked this demo thanks for joining